The Uncle Toby's Iron Man series was known for its beach runs, board paddles, body surfing, big waves, and of course, an Iron Man band. Epic battles. And who could forget Baywatch? But what we're here to look at today is my top three greatest sprint finishes. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty motivated after that intro. I'm Guy Andrews, and welcome to Guy's Garage. Today, we're going to get straight into it. Number three in the all-time sprint finish list was a race in Newcastle, and it was uh, the setup here is it's an hour and a quarter race. A soft sand. Newcastle was my home beach. I returned there from uh, from Queensland after training up there for a number of years. I was about 25 years of age, and I'm in a showdown after an hour and a quarter of battling it out with Jay Gilbert, whose older sister is. At the current, well, is one of the greatest iron women of all time, and so he shares the genetics with her. He's a very good athlete, and uh, he hadn't won a race before, and I and I'd won a couple, so it really comes down to that that crunch point. The last run leg is about 800 meters long in the soft sand, massive crowd, and uh, it was really who who wanted to win and who. Yeah, sometimes it comes down to who knows how to win. Anyway, let's not beat around the bush. Let's see what happens. And uh, Jay Gilbert and myself, I'm going to share the screen now. Here it is, I'll commentate. There's the crowd, tens of thousands of people used to come out. Here's the kick. So we've been sitting in the last 800 meter run and we've got a few hundred meters to go. I love to go out early in these uh, sprints. You can see Jay giving it everything. Jay's about 21 here, I'm 25, so a little bit more experienced athlete. And the old shock and awe technique, go for it and don't give up and don't look back. I was feeling pretty good at this point, clearly, because I'm raising the hand. All right, let's get right into it. Number two on the list was an epic race. Uh, I was 28, so 1998. I was 28, I was towards the, uh, the, the you know the pointy end of my career, but really strong. I ended up winning the series that year. And it was a fantastic sprint. The per is in Perth, WA, uh, in Scarborough Beach, and the sand is notoriously soft there. It's so soft that it squeaks under your feet when you run. And this race was in four parts. So we had all the water legs, the swim, the board, the ski, and it was called the pursuit. So depending on how you placed overall in time relative to the fastest person across all three legs, you went off on a handicap for the final run. And I, I think I went off on about 30 seconds behind the leader. And traditionally, the good runners weren't as fast as the water guys and the all-rounders were in the middle somewhere. So it comes right down to the finish line with uh, Scotty Thompson, who's a fantastic runner who came from another 20 seconds behind me. And I was just doing enough to be in the lead. And you'll see all there, even Dwayne Tyres is right behind us. He's not nat naturally a, a great sand runner, but he was right up at the pointy end of the race because he did so well in the water leg. Uh, the run itself was about five kilometers in the soft sand and it came down to this few moments right at the end. Let's have a look at the, uh, the finish and how that unfolded. All right, here it is, Scotty Thompson right behind me, Dwayne Tyres there. We just caught him towards the end of the run. It's well paced, it's almost like the Tour de France and pacing. You see Scott Thompson, I've kicked. Gone for home, a long way out. Traditionally, that's what I like to do, and Scott's coming for me in the cap right there, coming after me. I kick again, and it's just a matter of fighting the pain to the finish line. That was one of my probably physically most demanding and exciting uh, finishes that I've ever had. Let me just get out of this screen now. So yeah, incredible, incredible sprint finish, and Scotty Thompson, what, a, what an amazing athlete Scotty Thompson is, and uh, he pushed me all the way to the wire there. Scotty Thompson's a winner of Uncle Toby's races and an endurance specialist. And, and uh, you know, still still going around today. Great to see him in the Masters events up at Aussies uh, in the last couple of years. So, um, yeah, that was number two. All right, we're going to get into number one on the countdown of my all-time greatest sprint finishes in my Ironman career. This one was a really big one. So physically tough, but emotionally and what was on the line was probably the biggest 
reason this is number one, and it's the uh, the first time I ever won the Uncle Toby series out of the three times that I won across a 12-year career. And uh, I'd previously been second to Trevor Hendy prior to this event, and uh, the scenario was that I had to win this race to get enough points to win the overall series. But Sean Kenny, who you'll see racing near the finish line with a red cap on, was in the same case scenario. If he won that race, he would win the series and be the first person to break Trevor Hendy's stranglehold on the, on the event. So the race went for an hour and a quarter. You'll see in the footage that we're starting, we're lapping some of the back markers in the final run league. There's thousands of people watching. It's live on TV. It's super exciting, and it's coming down to the wire between the two guys that can take the series. And so whoever wins this race wins the series for the first time ever after the, in the fourth year of the uh, Uncle Toby's uh, series. So it's a quite a significant uh, race. So let's go and have a look at the finish. All right, here I kick a long way from home. Turns out to be a habit in future years, but this is 1993, I'm 23 years of age. See Sean, the back markers are about to go around for their next lap. Sean in the red cap. And this is it. Whoever wins out of us two wins a series for the first time ever in four years after Trevor Hendy's three year dominance. So pretty crazy, a lot of pressure. I remember lifting my arms and feeling they were light and heavy at the same time, if that's such a thing. But to win that was just an amazing experience. And you can see how much that meant to me. A lot of hard work went into that season and to win that race. Uh, you know, what do you say? I mean, you can, a picture says a thousand words. Alright, that's pretty cool. Well, thanks for watching my um, top three greatest sprint finishes of my Ironman career. Uh, it was a pretty cool uh, career from 1989-90 season as a 19 year old right through to 31, 2001-2002 season where uh, all 12 years of the Uncle Toby series that, that ever existed and, and unfortunately now it doesn't exist so some of you younger fans of Ironman racing probably never even heard of the Uncle Toby's Ironman series so there's a little background and uh, you know we can delve into some more interesting facts and things that have happened over the Ironman um, career or my Ironman career and we can probably meet some other athletes as well like Trevor Hendy on this podcast uh, so stand by and, and thanks for watching please guys subscribe to my channel I love to get some subscriptions and like it and that'll help me out a hell of a lot with uh, the YouTube um, algorithm and people can find these videos a lot easier but uh, thanks for watching guys and see you on the next one